Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am going to be showing you how to make a really cool witch's brew mica powder tumbler and we're also going to be using sprinkles. These sprinkles are new. They are from the Glitter Grind. They have Halloween and Christmas ones. Um, I got all of them <laughs> but this is the one I'm going to be working with today. It is Halloween Sprinkles B. Their link will be down in my description. Make sure you go and check them out. These are super super cute and I'm very excited to work with them. So what I'm going to be doing is making like a mica powder swirl tumbler um, and then I'm going to be adding a drip and putting the sprinkles on the drips. So I know I just did a drip tumbler not too long ago so I won't be doing it the same way. I won't go into like super crazy detail with it um, but we'll worry about that part later. The mica powders I'm using are all from the glitter grind as well. This one is ghost town. This one is invigorate. This one is poison. And then this one came in their glow bundle. It is an orange one and it glows in the dark. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm starting off with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Maker Flow Crafts. Their link will also be down in my description. And I base painted it head in the clouds from Color Shot. So all we're going to do today is add a layer of epoxy on this tumbler. And in the same layer, well, immediately after I put it on, I'm going to add some epoxy in separate little cups. And then I'm going to be adding about a pea-sized amount of these mica powders, um, one into like each cup that has epoxy in it. Mix it up and we're going to be drizzling it on this tumbler and using a heat gun to blend it really well. So that's all that I'm going to do today. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I'm just adding my very messy coat of epoxy. <laughs> it's just one coat. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly how many mLs. But then I just added some mica powders into each separate cup and then took some leftover epoxy and added it into the separate cups with mica powders in there. Mixed it all up and now I'm just taking a popsicle stick into each individual colored cup of epoxy and just letting it drizzle on. And I'm not really paying too much attention to like how I'm doing it or like more of one color than the other. I, I know for one I don't want to add like too much black in there. I don't want it to um, take over all of the other colors, but I'm just doing this until I am satisfied until most of the tumbler is colored in some way. So just keep doing this until you are satisfied and then you can go in with a heat gun and really start to blend those colors together. You do want to be really careful while doing this. You know, you don't want to like burn your epoxy or anything. Um, don't hold the heat gun at one spot for too long. Just kind of go up and down the tumbler and you'll be able to watch and see those colors really blend together and it turns out absolutely beautiful. All right, so here it is the next day and that orange pretty much got completely taken over by all of the other colors but that is okay because I'll just make the drips orange and it will look awesome. So this is the image I found on Creative Fabrica. It says Witch's Broom and I'm going to create an offset like so. Um, I made it four inches tall and I think it's 3.3 wide and I'm going to put it not directly in the middle a little further down because I want room for the drips. So what I like to do with my offsets is place them one at a time. So I've seen some creators, um, I mean, there's different ways to do it. There's no wrong way to do it, but I'm just telling you your options. Um, I've seen some creators, you know, first put the transfer tape here, lift this one, put it on this one, then lift them both and put them on. Um, I have trouble doing that. <laughs> I don't know why I have so much trouble, um, but I do. So I like to place mine one at a time. So I will place the offset first and then the main image and when I start mine I like to stand them up get eye level and place it like so then I'm going to lay this down on my cup cradle from Bama Cups and let me just get my other one lifted up here Now I've got it on my cup cradle and I'm just going to try to center it as much as possible. So I'm going to put the main image in the center of the offset. Like so. 
All right, so now it's time to add these drips and the really fun sprinkles. I'm so excited. So what I'm gonna use for the drips this time is fabric paint from Hippie Crafter. And this one is orange yellow. It looks really, really bright orange though. It's gonna be really, really pretty. I think it's gonna go really well and stand out. So I'm just going to squeeze some all the way around. I'm gonna start by bringing it all the way around the rim. I'm gonna see from that what I can get to come down. I didn't make it too heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more, a little heavier. And just like whenever I do this with Mod Podge and Cornstarch, I am gonna let this set overnight to harden before I epoxy over. So now I'm just gonna hit it on my hand again. And there's the drip. So now this is gonna stay wet for a while, so I don't have to like really rush. I'm gonna lay down some parchment paper to catch what doesn't make it on. And I don't think these are gonna fit through the little holes here. So I'm going to just sprinkle some onto my parchment paper. And they look like little bats, they're really super cute. And I'm just going to sprinkle some onto that wet fabric paint. And like I said, what doesn't make it is fine. I'm not gonna make it too super heavy, but I want them to be noticeable. And now I'm going to take my little pick here and I'm just going to flatten them so when it does come time for epoxy, it probably will still be a little textured, but nothing will be like sticking straight up. And I'm not going to fix them, I'm just going to let them be where they are. I'm just very gently flattening them. I'm pushing them down into the paint a little bit. All right, and now the only thing I'm going to do now is to just let this sit. I'll come back tomorrow in roughly 24 hours and add epoxy. I'm probably going to add two or three coats until everything is as smooth as I can possibly get it. All right, so now this has had time to sit and completely harden, so now the only thing that it needs is a few coats of epoxy, and it will be all done. All right, y'all, so after some epoxy, this is what it looks like. I love this so much. I love the colors. I love the drips. I love the sprinkles. I love the decal. All of it. I think this will be a good one to give away in my mentorship group. So if you have not yet joined my mentorship group, check out my website and you will see it on the homepage. It is an every 30 day recurring charge and uh, we're going to have lots of fun in there. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, when you can't control what's happening, challenge yourself to control the way you respond. That is where your power is. That is all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make something like this, of course, tag me. I love seeing y'all recreate what I make here on YouTube. It makes my heart happy. And if y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one.